This is the Angie SE RE1000 USB condenser microphone set at 50% gain. I have one floor fan turned on down below. I don't know if this can be heard in the recording. I don't know if this cannot be heard from the recording. But today, let's talk about the pros and the cons and why you should get or why you should not get this USB microphone. This is B-Boy Haranero. Right now, we have the volume at 50%. Let's dial it up to its maximum volume. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you can hear the floor fan. And it's kind of loud. Let's dial it to its lowest volume. There you go. We're at the lowest volume. And you can hear if I raise my voice just to get to the volume I want to hear myself in. We are already clipping. In other words, at a very low gain, we're already clipping. We'll talk more about that later. Before we begin with the pros and the cons, again, this is a side address cardioid polar pattern USB microphone. In other words, it only picks up sound right in front of the microphone where the knob and the monitoring input is. If I speak on top of the microphone or behind, the sound will be warped. Also, if you want to learn more about its plosives, the way it handles plosives, it handles it very well. We'll talk more about plosives. B B P P later on. Okay, immediately let's talk about the pros. Uh, it has a very good steel build. Okay, reiteration on steel. It looks expensive from my camera. Anyways, the next pro is that it's got very low static, very low noise. Um, I'm not expecting this from cheap microphone, but so far it performs very well. Next is that it's got a low latency monitoring, but I feel the latency a little bit in my ears, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, and it still is very functional for you to be able to monitor your voice. The last pro is that inside this grill, there is a sponge wherein you will not need a foam cap anymore or a pop filter in front. So it looks very neat very minimalistic if you're wondering what boom arm this is this is the thron max zoom from oh yeah thron max yeah I, I, i'm not really sure if zoom's their brand or thron max anyways uh, this right here is the mount that does not come with this product now let's talk about the cons this is the mount that comes with the RE1000. This mount isn't very versatile because you cannot remove this. All right, I hope you could remove this and attach it to a boom arm like this. It's just great that I have an extra one in my cabinet that I can use today. Next con is that the gain knob does not have any marker. So it's a little difficult for you to pinpoint if you're at 50% gain or on what gain you are in. So I had to draw my own marker with a pen. <laughs> and it works. Next is that I wouldn't really say this is a con. It's just kind of weird. The USB input is USB-A. Alright, it's not USB-B or USB-C. I hope they made it USB-C just for the versatility there. Last con, at very low gain, at very low gain, we clip. This microphone clips. So, what does that mean? If your voice is more of the animated type or the dynamic point. type, I don't think this is the microphone that's good for you. But if your voice is low, and this is technically how you speak most of the time in your videos or maybe in your recordings, then I think this microphone will be great for you because it picks up the lows very well. Unfortunately, when you go high, it clips. Would I be using this microphone? Maybe I would so far. I think this is a pass, but then again, it's not for everyone. So I hope I did my job here. If you've got some questions, comment it down below. Check my Instagram. I posted a short cover using this one with just a very smooth voice. I'm not going for the powerful ones because, again, it's clipping. It's Biba Harnero, and I'll see you guys again next time.